Today is week one, day three. And we have been learning this week about making connections with the book. Making connections again means that we can think about what we know already about the subject, what's happened in our life, what we've read about, what we've heard. And today we're going to talk about Dr. Seuss. He is a famous author. He wrote many books. These are some of the books he wrote. The Cat in the Hat, Oh, the Places You'll Go, Green Eggs and Ham, One Fish, Two Fish, Red Fish, Blue Fish, Dr. Seuss's ABC, and many more. He wrote many books, and a lot of them are very funny, silly, and make-believe. He kind of has some crazy characters that he, that he makes up, and they always have funny names, and they always rhyme. So as we read this, think about the Dr. Seuss books that you have read before and also of the names that we talked about and see if you hear any of the names that we talked about as we read this article. Big A, little A, what begins with A? Aunt Annie's alligator, A, A, A. Have you ever seen these lines? They are from a book called Dr. Seuss's ABC. Who was Dr. Seuss? His real name was Theodore Seuss Geisel. When Theodore went to college, he wrote for a magazine. He wrote funny things. His friends thought he was funny. A few years later, he began to write books for children. He was very good at art. He drew funny pictures for his books. One book is The Cat in the Hat. Another one is Hop on Pop. Dr. Seuss's books are different from other books. Books by Dr. Seuss are silly. They are fun to read. Some of them show make-believe animals like the Zizzer Zazzer Zuz. Young children laugh when their parents and teachers read these books to them. Older students enjoy reading them alone. What's your favorite Dr. Seuss book? Maybe you haven't read a Dr. Seuss book. Maybe it's not the funniest book you know. But on the line below, write down the funniest book that you have read because I would like to know what the funniest book you've read is. Number one says, the passage tells about Dr. Seuss's children, house, parents, or writing. What did this article tell about Dr. Seuss? Pick A, B, C, or D. Number two, which of these is not real? Dr. Seuss's other name? Teachers who read books? Some of Dr. Seuss's animals? A man who drew funny pictures. Now, to answer that question, you can think about books that you've read from Dr. Seuss. Um, think about the characters in his story. And think about um, what would be not real in his story. You can go back and look at the paragraph if you need some more help with that. Dr. Seuss was a writer and what else was he? A teacher, an artist, a reader, or a parent? Now you might not remember that, but you can go back and read what else he did. It tells us in paragraph one, two, in paragraph three, if you look carefully, it will tell you what else Dr. Seuss could do. Which one is most like a Dr. Seuss title? All About the Sun, 
the Roly Poly Bazoli, how to build a tree house, my trip to Texas.